Are you ready for some Jersey? Well, we've got Jersey. The zipper was made here. The light bulb was made here. The color television calls the Garden State home. Everybody wants to know about New Jersey. Sandy beaches, beautiful cities. We even have the Jersey Turnpike. Inventors, music, the movies. You need an exit? We got them too. You want Jersey? This is Jersey. Welcome to this edition of This is Jersey. We're in beautiful Morristown today at the Morris Museum talking to world-class figure skater and Olympic medalist Jojo Starbuck. Jojo, what was it like being an Olympic athlete? Well, it was a fantasy and a dream come true, of course, but also a lot of hard work. I started skating when I was about seven years old. I got a pair of skates for Christmas. And as a tomboy, I loved it because I could run and jump and, and climb things. That's what I wanted to do. And when you're skating, you get to go fast, feel the wind in your hair, and spin, and, and also have music and costumes and an audience. It was just the best of every world to me. I just loved everything about it. And you start slowly and sort of innocently. One thing leads to another and you're taking lessons and then you have a, in my case, a partner, a skating partner. And we met when we were seven. We were put in a show together. And we both had the same dreams of being um, in a big professional ice show someday and that eventually came true. But along the way, we learned about tests and competitions and something called the Olympics. And then that led us back to where we sort of started out, wanting to be in shows. And we got to skate in, in big professional ice shows and ice capades. And our dreams really came true over a period of about mm, 20 years. <laughs> so what was it like early on? How many hours a day were you skating? Well, here's what my daily schedule was like. I'd be up at 5, be on the ice at 6. We'd skate till 8.30 in the morning and then go to school from 9 till 2.30. I got out of gym class because I was a skater. And Mr. Zamboni, who invented the famous ice machine, he um, ran the rink, owned the rink that I grew up in. That's where he invented the Zamboni. So he let my partner and I have 30 minutes of extra private ice in the morning and 30 minutes at the end of the uh, school day where we could train our programs but with nobody else on the ice, which was valuable. But we would skate after school from about 3 till 6. And then we would drive up to Hollywood, which is all in California, where we took ballet les lessons or jazz, tap, and my partner and I learned all of our overhead lifts on the floor in a ballet studio. And then we would transfer those to the ice. So by the time we got home from the dance studio and started our homework and took a hot bath and had dinner in the car usually, it was a long day from 5 AM till about 10.30 or 11. And this went on for about 13 years. What year did you begin to become eligible to be in the Olympics? We made our first Olympic team when we were 16. So we went to the national championships. It was Olympic year. We never dreamed we would make the team, but we did. And we went right from the, the Olympic trials in Philadelphia to Grenoble, France for the 68 Olympic Games. And you were in also in 72? Yes, four years later. What was that experience like, those weeks that you were away involved with the Olympics? Well, you feel like your feet are never touching the ground because you're walking around the Olympic Village and you're seeing athletes that you'd read about or seen on television. And there they are down the table in the cafeteria from you having soup. And you're just, ah, everything about it was crazy and sensational. And um, that was our first Olympics in 68. And then in, four years later in 72, we were sort of more used to the drill and uh, a lot more pressure was on us because we were the U.S. champions at this time. When I say we, I should explain, I'm talking about my amazing skating partner, Ken Shelley. He was also the U.S. men's champion and we were the U.S. pairs champions at that, that same time. Do you still connect with him? Yeah, he lives in New York and we still are very close. We're going to Las Vegas this summer for a big reunion for ice capades, okay. which is no longer 
touring, but all of us are still here and we're having a big reunion. So tell me about the Ice Capades experience. It was wonderful because you're touring constantly from city to city, all across America and Canada, and you're touring with all these wonderful, crazy young friends who, it, it's like, it was like my college experience. My kids are in college now, and I'm envying all their experiences that they're going through. But I guess my college experience was going away from home and being in hotels and touring all over the country. We had, like they have to perform academically, we had to perform every night mm -hmm. on the ice and, um, and really be very disciplined about our skating still. As an amateur, you train about six hours a day and perform maybe four major times a year. Mm -hmm. As a performer in Ice Capades, we would practice maybe an hour a day or 45 minutes, and we would do nine performances a week. So it, the performance practice ratio was totally flipped, but um, it was wonderful because that's what we love to do. So Jojo, how many years did you do that? We toured for four years full time and then after that we guest, we did guest appearances for two years. So six years all together. Thank you. We have to take a break now. We come back. Want to talk about what you're doing now? Sure. And we'll do that when we come back. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll be back right after this. Welcome back to This Is Jersey. We're in Morristown talking with Olympic figure skater Jojo Starbuck about her amazing cool workout series of adult ice skating classes. So Jojo, what are you doing now with adults? Well, I'm very excited about this program because it's, it's for everybody, but primarily my students are adults ages, say, mid-30s to 80s and maybe beyond. Um, it's for adult recreational beginning skaters. It's never too late to learn how to skate. And also, you know, many people started skating when they were kids and they loved it, but when they became adults or went off to college and then eventually got jobs and had kids, there's no time to skate, but their kids have gone off to college and they want to do something unique and new for themselves that's going to keep them fit and strong and stimulated and this is the answer. We like to think outside the box and do just not the usual yoga class or gym membership, which is great and important to do, but sometimes you want something else to work out in a different way. And skating is great because it engages your core, your posture becomes strengthened, your leg muscles, you breathe deeply so your lungs are oxygenated, and you have to think about several things at one time with every move you're doing constantly and you're really working every part of your body. When I go to the gym and run on the treadmill for instance I can run for 30 minutes and it's uncomfortable but it's not a big deal. I take a couple of laps around an arena, a hockey sized rink and I am so totally winded because every part of you, including your balance, is engaged. You, you can't let anything off the hook. You can't rest in any area. You're really working every part of your body and your brain. But also, skating is a, an emotional joy because as you glide, the wind does go through your hair and hits your face, and you just feel the the joy of not doing a thing but soaring through the air. And you feel that way when you skate. So it's joyful on that level. And then finally, on an emotional, I mean on a social level, it's wonderful because you're with other kindred spirits, other adults who have interesting stories. Everybody brings them to class. But they're all there because they too want to be fit. They want to get strong and become better skaters and have better balance. You get off the ice and you walk out the door and you feel your whole body feels stronger and more, more upright and your balance is better in everything that you do in your life. So it's just wonderful on so many levels and I, I love all of my students. And it doesn't matter what level they are when they begin, everybody starts wherever they are and goes at their own pace and it's a great workout it really is 
Is it a weekly program that you have? It is. In New York City at Rockefeller Center, I do um, two classes a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays, from October through April. And then uh, here in New Jersey, I sometimes go all year long, but we have a class at the Twin Oaks Arena in Morristown, the Twin Oaks Rink on Columbia Turnpike, and also at the Richard Cody Arena um, in West Orange, New Jersey. So, so when you mention Rockefeller Center, in the rink, you do classes? Is that how this yes, works? Yes, and we have it all to ourselves. Even though it gets mobbed at certain times of year, we, my students there are mostly uh, business professionals, and they are working from 9 or 9.30 till whenever. But they go down to the rink around 7 o'clock. I have a beautiful little breakfast set out for them in the skate house. We stretch and laugh and put on our skates, and we have the ice all to ourselves from 7.30 till 8.30 in the morning. And then some of them stay on and skate on the public session and then go off to work. The classes in New Jersey are midday, and sometimes working women on their lunch hour come, stay-at-home moms, um, retirees. I have all kinds of amazing people that come to my classes. and. It's really, uh, it really enriches my life, I know, too. Most people, like myself, would be concerned about doing it at such an, an older age. Uh, do you find a lot of people are concerned, and what should they be thinking? Well, if you learn proper technique, it's not scary. It's really a low-impact exercise. And you learn about your balance and your posture and your core strength, and it's not dangerous at all. Um, a lot of people think they're not going to be good enough, but really, anybody can skate, and you can learn and begin at a later age in life because you just need a little focus, a little desire, a pair of decent skates, and a good teacher. And you can really open up a whole new world of fitness and breathing and strength for yourself to take through the rest of your life. It's really a blast. I know a lot of our viewers want to know how they can find out about you. How can they do that? To find out about any of my classes or what I'm do doing, you can go to my website, which is jojostarbuck.com. And that's just like the coffee, only I had the name first. And there's no S on the end, jojostarbuck.com. Or uh, email me at jojo at jojostarbuck.com. Very so, good. thank yeah. you very much. Thank you for being a guest on our show and good luck. Oh, uh, well, thank you for having me. It's, it's a joy to uh, get to talk to you and all of these viewers from this area. Very good one. Thank you for watching. We'll be back right after this.